paper lovers, it's Sarah, and it's time for another Terrific Tuesday challenge over on the Scrappy Moms blog. This time the challenge is to uh, use anything with a stick. So the design team over um, with the Scrappy Moms are going to be using these new paper straws. You might have seen them. They're really, really popular right now. And um, they are available now on the Scrappy Moms blog, and they have yellow, black, light pink, red, blue, hot pink, and hearts and then I'm going to be using the orange ones today and they look like this and I'm going to be making a little mini spring banner and as I was making this I thought I was thinking this could be so cute for a centerpiece you could put it on a cake on cupcakes you know string it along cupcakes um, it would be so cute for a centerpiece for a baby shower if you did baby instead of spring so there's so many ideas I'm also going to be using the Scrappy Mom's pinwheel dies and I've made a few of these pinwheels and I have a video showing you how to use the pinwheel die to make your pinwheels and let's see all the the paper, pattern paper and cardstock that I'm using is from the die cuts with a view flower shower stack this came out a couple years ago it might still be available I'm not sure and then I'm also using some lemon drop baker's twine um, it's kind of a yellowish orangish color and that can also be purchased over on the Scrappy Moms blog so in case I didn't say it already, I'll put a link down at the bottom to the blog so hopefully you can play along in the challenge. And this little blue butterfly is my kind of my center spot, so I try to keep stuff in camera. So if you're wondering what that is, that's just for, um, for me. Okay, so on each side of my banner, I'm going to have the, the straw, the paper straw, and then I've adhered um, one of my pinwheels, and then my banner is going to be attached to that. So I am going to just continue to um, assemble it together and then I'll show you how I got this all to stick. So the banner pieces I got from the Straight From The Nest cartridge and they are cut at 3 inches. And then my font for my spring I got from the Country Life cartridge and they are cut at 2 inches. And then these little tiny flowers here that I've punched out are from this little dollar punch that I purchased at Michael's a long time ago and I just cut it out of this same pattern paper that I used for the banner and the pinwheels. Okay, so I've gone ahead and already adhered my S and my P and let me show you what I've done. I'm just taking a glue dot and I'm rolling it into like a little worm-like shape and then I'm just sticking it to the back of my banner like kind of in the center. I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible, I'm not trying to get too technical and then I'm just sticking it to my twine and pressing it down and moving on to the next one. Really simple. Stick it to the center. They are really sticky. And I'm trying to get it kind of even between each one but if it's not I'm not going to stress about it. Okay, so I've got all my little banner pieces adhered to my twine. Now I'm going to show you how I attached it to my straw and my pinwheel. Really, really easy. All I did was put a glue dot on my straw. And you do want to be careful with these. They are pretty thick, but they do bend if you are too rough with them. So I just grabbed a glue dot. And then this is going to be the back of my... Thing. and I'm going to just attach the twine and I just wrapped it around like that and then you can just trim off the excess let me do that real fast okay and then I just stuck a glue dot to the back of my pinwheel these pinwheels are so fun to make, and it's the perfect time of year. I just went to a um, um, Hobby Lobby the other day, and they have pinwheels everywhere. Okay, so there's the, look how easy that was. Okay, now I'm gonna sh try to show you the plan I have for my little banner. I grabbed these little buckets um, in the dollar section at Target, and they're uh, tin or metal. And they did have a really cute pink polka dotted ribbon, 
um, which I just took out because it didn't match the color scheme that I went with this time, but you know, it would be really cute if you're doing your colors in pink. And what I plan on doing is putting that styrofoamy stuff down at the bottom that you get at Michael's in like the floral section. And then, oh my goodness, you could fill this with candy, with um, sh paper shreds, with you know anything that you wanted around it. But then I was going to stick my pinwheels in, I got two buckets, stick it in here. It's going to be hard to show you in the, in the camera, but I'll take a picture of it at the end and show you what it looks like. And then just for fun, I made two more pinwheels and I put a magnet on the back and Michael sells the magnets in the strips and I just cut two little pieces and I'm going to stick it to the front of my bucket like that. How cute is that? And this could be easily changed for whatever design that you're doing. So I know it's kind of hard to show you on camera but like I said I'll take a picture and you can see it better but anyways that's my little <laughs> mini pinwheel banner. So thanks everybody for watching and have a blessed day.